Welcome back. In our last video, we talked about various high-level ways to manage complexities in a knockout application. In this video, we'll cover the model view view model pattern. Most web developers are familiar with the MVC or model view control pattern for server-side web development. The model view view model pattern, MVVM, is based on MVC, but it's targeted for UI creation in a modular way. It separates UI logic from the business logic. With MVC, the controller is the intermediary between the model and the view. In MVVM, the view is bound to the view model, and the view model reads to and writes from the model. Whereas MVC is concerned with passing and routing data from a controller to a static view, the MVVM pattern is concerned with synchronization of the view model to the dynamically updated view. Let's dive into three components of MVVM. First is the model. The model is typically considered to be the data model or data access layer of the knockout application. The model could also reside on the client side through HTML5's local storage. It is also possible to have a model on the client side that directly maps one-to-one -one with the database models on the server. There is a library called Knockback, which combines Knockout.js and Backbone, which uses this concept. However, it is out of scope of this video series. The view is the markup that describes the layout and the behavior of the visual page. This is where you define your data bindings as described in the first section. In the view, you should minimize the amount of logic specified by either adding properties to your view model and or creating custom bindings, which will be covered in a later section. Your bindings should describe what should happen, but not how. For example, instead of a text binding that adds up the total of a number of fields, that logic should be performed in a computed observable in the view model. The view model is a model specifically crafted for the view. This is where the bulk of the JavaScript code will reside in a knockout application. While the view model is constructed to support the view and provide data in a way that is easy for the view to consume, it should not directly reference the view. Code that ties the view to the view model should be created as a custom binding. We've covered the basic ideas behind working with Knockout.js. You should now have a basic understanding of how to work with Knockout. In the next section, we will jump into actually creating a working application.